everyone, it's me Shraddha from How to Electronics. In this video, we will learn about electromyography. We will interface the myoware muscle sensor with Arduino and make our own electromyography device. Electromyography is an electrodiagnostic machine technique for evaluating and recording the electrical activity produced by skeletal muscles. EMG is performed using an instrument called an electromyograph to produce a record called an electromyogram. Most of the standard EMG measurement systems are expensive and not feasible for personal applications. For personal hobbyists like me, the Marburg Muscle Sensor offers a good starting point for learning about the muscular movement or electromyography. The Marburg Muscle Sensor just costs lesser than $40. Beside the main sensor board, there is also a complete development kit that costs around $80 with more accompanying components for researchers and beginners. This sensor can be easily interfaced with any microcontrollers and using the simple code, we can make our own EMG device. The code measures the analog voltage generated by expansion and contraction of muscles and displays the waveform on serial plotter. You can also display a numeric value both on serial monitor or on any generic display device. Thus, from the graph, we can learn about the health condition of muscles and nerve shelves that control them. So without getting any delay, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Next PCV. Let's cheers for the Thanksgiving Day and the coming Christmas Day. As the holiday is all around us, Next PCV prepares massive gift for you. Cheers for the Christmas part. If you place the order on the Next PCV website, you can get the following three gifts. Gift A is the dollar ten coupon. Gift B is dollar twenty gas plus ten points. Gift C is dollar sixty gas plus ten points, and they can be used to deduct your PCV order. And you can check details here. For PCV order, they give 15% off. For PCV assembly order, 10% off. There is also a lucky draw for you. Everyone will get 3 chances to participate in the lucky draw. You can get up to $1.50 off for components and other gift. You can check here how to get the 3 chances to participate in the lucky draw. Welcome back friends. So, what is an electromyography? Electromyography is the method of measuring the electrical activity within muscle fibers during activation. Each time when your muscle moves, your muscle fibers are activated with the signals passed down from the brain through the central nervous system and motor neurons to the muscle fibers. There are normally more negative charges inside the muscle cell than the outside, but a positive action potential travels along the length of the muscle fiber when a muscle contracts. EMG involves measuring this action potential traveling down the muscle fiber at a speed of 2 to 6 meter per second. Such momentary differences in the electric charges can be detected with two or more electrode placed along this route. EMG sensor, also known as electromyography sensor, is one that measures small electrical signals generated by your muscles when you move them. This includes lifting your arm up, clenching your fist, or even the simplest movement like moving a finger. But before starting, I want to tell you, I am not a doctor, neither a medical personnel. So I won't recommend you to use this sensor for medical applications. I've just made this video for understanding and learning the concept behind the electromyography. First, let's see the MyOware EMG muscle sensor kit that I recently purchased from Amazon. So here are the multiple packets containing the main sensor board along with the expander board and different kits. We will see all the packets separately and learn what is inside and how to use them. So this is the first board called Myware Muscle Sensor or the Embedded Electrode Connectors. The Myware Muscle Sensor is an all-in-one electromyography sensor from Advanced Technologies. The Myware board acts by measuring the filtered and rectified electrical activity of a muscle. It gives the output from 0 to V in volt depending on the amount of activity in the selected muscle. There are a few audio amplifier IC on the board. An audio amplifier is used so the activity can be heard. EMG measures the electrical activity of a muscle during rest, slight contraction and forceful contraction. Muscle tissue does not normally produce electrical signals during rest. When an electrode is placed, a brief period of activity can be seen on the oscilloscope. 
You can see it has nine pins as R, E and W pins. On the right, it has a signal, minus and plus pins. On the left, it has ground, SHID or power pin and raw pin which is also a signal pin. There is also a small potentiometer for controlling the gain. Well, on the back side, there are connectors for two electrode pads. So as explained earlier, the R, E and pins are the mid muscle, end muscle and reference electrode pin. To learn more about these board parts, visit the link in the description. Now let's see this packet. So this is a MyWare cable sealed that comes along with this kit. It is optional and there is no need to purchase it if you don't want to. As you can see here, it is having a 3.5mm audio jack. Instead of attaching the sensor pads directly to the malware muscle sensor, they can be attached to the sales 3.5mm TRS jack connector. This is how you can connect the muscle sensor with the sealed. Now let's just see this packet again. This is a malware power sealed. The malware power sealed is designed to take two coin cell batteries such as some standard CR2032s. They are connected in parallel for extended capacity at a nominal 3.0 volt. This seal also fit directly to the malware muscle sensor. And inside this packet, there is an electrode cable. The cable has three electrodes. Both sets of contacts will be connected together. So make sure to only use one pad for each reference R, E and E and middle M pin. Just insert the 3.5 mm audio jack to this connector. These are the pads that come along with this kit. I have a total of 6 pads here that I got inside the kit. Each pad has a plastic layer covered on the Zelly type zeal. You have to remove these plastic stickers while attaching the sensor to the body part. Now let's begin with our project called DIY Electromyography. So here is the connection between Arduino and Myware muscle sensor. Connect the VCC pin to 5 volt. Connect the ZND pin to ZND. And then connect the output analog pin to any analog pin of Arduino, either A0 or A1. Now let's just prepare ourselves for measuring the body EMG. So first, you need to clean your body part so that the dirt and oil will be removed. In my case, I am using the sanitizer to clean my arms part. You can use soap or any washing cream to make the skin surface dirt and oil free. After that, remove the plastic from the pads. The plastic is sticky and can remove it. When removed, paste it on your muscle part where you want to measure the muscle activity. Place two pads parallel as shown here and third pad as a reference electrode. Now here is the MyWare muscle sensor and the MyWare cable sealed. Connect it off of them like this. Then insert the 3.5 mm audio jack into the connector. After that, attach the three electrodes to the pads and then connect the Arduino board as per the circuit diagram. But there is another method of using the sensor too. For that, you don't need any cable sealed. You can directly connect the sensor with the pad as shown here. This is what you can do for the testing purpose. And out of these two ways, you can follow anyway whatever you think is best for you. Now let's move to the programming part. The programming here is simple and best. Under the setup, we are initializing the serial begin and setting the baud rate like 9600. In the loop part, we are measuring the sensor value by reading the analog data from the A1 pin. Then using this line, we are converting the sensor value to voltage. Then we are printing the sensor value and also the voltage value on the serial monitor. You need to use a delay of 1 millisecond here. So select the Arduino board and the board. Click on the upload so that the code will be uploaded. Open the serial monitor. The serial monitor will display the sensor value along with the voltage. Now to check the working of the sensor, you can expand or contract your muscle as you want. Simply stretch the muscle as shown here. So you will see a lot of variation in voltage depending upon the bending of the arm. Now if you want to display the data in the graphical format, then you can open the serial plotter from the tools section. So here you see the graph generated because of the contraction and expansion of the muscle. Such a great device, isn't it? You can directly monitor the movement of your muscle here. I say, you must try this project at your home.
Okay, apart from the waveform part, you can also display the sensor value in OLED screen. I have attached the code in the website article. In some other videos, we will be controlling the server motor or we will be making X-Men hand. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.